All right, ladies, let's talk a little bit about vision over the next five to 10 minutes that we have together. Um, I think that many of us as women, we lack vision. There's things that we want to accomplish in our life, whether it's a job, getting married, having children, owning a house, right? There's, there's pieces of our vision that we were once aware of, but oftentimes I think we find that our vision is not clear. We don't really have a clear vision for ourselves, for our health. And so what I love that um, I've taken from Brendan Burchard is he really talks about setting our 12 month goals, our 12 month vision. And so what we're gonna do on this uh, exercise together is work through setting our vision for the next 12 months of our life when it comes to our health and our physical being. So there are four questions that you're gonna answer and I'm gonna put these below the video so you have them. Um, but what it says is that 12 months from now, my vision for healthy living looks like. Now, when you write this, I don't want you to say like, one day I hope, or I think, or I'll try, but rather write it as though it's already here. So 12 months from now, my healthy vision, or sorry, my vision for healthy living looks like I am eating X, Y, Z. I am exercising this many number of times. I feel this way. It's important for us to not only know the actions that we have to take, but also what the outcome is going to be, how we're going to feel when we do those things. And more importantly, what we're going to look like, because, you know, as much as yes, this is about our health, it's also about our confidence and our happiness. And so much of that is tied to how we feel about ourselves. So that's the first of the four questions. The second is to achieve this vision, I would have to stop doing these things. Think about this. What are the things that you have to stop? And perhaps it's like, you know, stop drinking soda or stop indulging or stop sneaking my kids Halloween candy that's still hanging around how many months later. Um, what are the things that you have to stop doing specifically, you know, act, act, actions, activities, foods, stop procrastinating a workout, but more importantly, what are some of the thoughts that you need to get rid of? How about stop comparing myself to others? Stop beating myself up for not being further along than I am. Stop having a high expectation of myself so that I'm always putting myself down. Really, really think about those stops. And of course, the third question is things you have to start doing. What do you have to start doing on a regular and consistent basis to achieve that vision? Now, I'll tell you for me, one of the biggest hang up points for me personally is having food in the house. I have no problem eating uh, cottage cheese for dinner. I know a lot of people say I'm crazy when I, when I mention things like that. But for me, food really is about just serving a purpose rather than enjoying it, unless Mike and I go out to a nice dinner and then I want to enjoy my food. But on a regular day-to-day -day basis, it really is about efficiency. How can I be most efficient in this meal? And I'll show you, I'm, I'm sorry if you think this is disgusting, but I asked Mike to make lunch today because I had appointments all day and it's steak and eggs and that's it. You know, it's, it's not beautiful, it's not exciting, it's very efficient, but where I fall short is not always having the food in the house. So, shopping like that's not something that i have time to go and do so if i had to say like what do i have to start doing i gotta start making sure that there's food in the house the right food in the house enough food in the house i gotta start making sure that i don't keep running out of food because you know my my in-laws or my mom would come and watch our sons and they open the fridge and they're like what are you eating like what there's nothing to eat in here there's no fresh anything and so to achieve that and to do that like i just start scheduling my pickup it's free. If you just go on the app or go online to your favorite supermarket or BJ's or wherever you shop, and you can actually make a, a like shopping list, you can schedule a time that you're going to go to that store and pick it up. And all you have to do is literally drive there, check it on the app, and they deliver it to your car. I mean, that's the, at least how they do it at BJ's. Uh, it's shop right home delivery. I believe that you have to pay for that service, but they deliver it to your home. And so for me, two purposes are served. First of all, I don't have to take two children into the supermarket or myself, or I might purchase things that are not on my list or I don't need. Okay. I'm speaking to you right now, or uh, I should say, and the second thing that it helped me do is help me save a lot of time because I don't really want to go shopping. So it, I was very efficient in my budget, in the foods I was purchasing. And, you know, it caused me to not have that stress. Some people really enjoy food shopping. So maybe what you have to start doing is start making sure that you do it regularly or start making sure that you eat before you go to the supermarket, because going to the supermarket hungry is never a good thing for anybody. Or start making sure that you stick to your list when you hit the supermarket. Don't go rogue and get everything on the end caps. That's like at the end of the aisle, there's like that great deal, that great sale. Hint, hint, they're just trying to get rid of that stuff. Okay, they're not losing any money on that. It may sometimes be a great deal, but oftentimes it's crap you don't need, okay? The fourth is 
to achieve this vision, I am setting the following goals and deadlines for myself. So I'm sure you've heard about SMART goals. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I think they're kind of I don't know, annoying. You know, we have to make sure that it's sizable and we got to make sure it's realistic and all this are specific and realistic and we have to have like the deadline on it. Like just set a goal and make a deadline. So for me, like making sure that I actually purchased my groceries was by Sunday, my list has to be together because on Monday or Tuesday night, depending on the sport that we're at and which sport we're at in our town, which supermarket am I closest to? That's the supermarket I'm ordering from that I can pick up those groceries. And I love, I don't know if you guys are fans of BJ's or not, but from there, I can get a lot of the organic stuff that I enjoy, you know, whether or not it's organic, I don't know. I hope it is, but it's a lot more, I would say cost-effective. They're organic berries and things like that. They're a lot cheaper than getting them at Acme or just Chico's or anywhere else. And um, I can get a ton of organic chicken or the uh, grass-fed Verde steaks. You know, those things are great. And I literally can schedule my order for days from now at BJ's. It's ready at that time. And I have an hour window to pick it up. So I drop my kids at the sports. I scoot on over to BJ's, check in. I, I go into the store because, you know, I, I like the exercise. But if you don't want to go into the store, you say, deliver to my vehicle. They bring it out. They drop it off. It's great. It's amazing. So when do you have to do that by? When do you have to do it by? Set, set a time. Set a date. You're an adult. That's what's cool about this. You get to choose when your deadline is. You can choose today, tomorrow, next week, next month, July 1st. You get to decide what the goals and the deadlines are because you're totally in charge of all of this. And you could decide that you want to start waking up at four o'clock in the morning and doing a mindfulness exercise and listen to a podcast like you get to do those things because you are an adult and you're in charge of your life. And I know sometimes we're not as motivated to do those things, but if it's meaningful to us, if we have that vision crafted, that first thing, my vision for healthy living looks like, you're like, gosh, I want to do that. That makes a really big difference. I just got off the phone with a gentleman who's actually joining our several location. And, you know, I, I asked him this question, like, what is your vision? And he was like, well, I'm retiring from my job in eight years. And I want to be in South Carolina, driving a golf cart, being able to not like literally feel like a whale, to wear clothes, to feel good, to have energy, to have my kids come down and visit. I mean, his vision was so specific and crafted down to which golf cart he was driving on, down to the golf cart that he was driving in and who was there with him. And I'm like, wow, that's really beautiful. You thought about this. And he was like, yeah, I thought about this quite a lot. And it is time for me to start working on achieving it. We all have to have a vision. Because if you don't have a vision, what's the point? What are you really working on and towards? And when you think about your vision, I don't want you just to say like, you know, 10 pounds down. Well, what's after that? Is it an event? Is it a vacation? Is it a something? Because I want you to think about the goals almost like climbing a ladder, right? When we, we reach to the next rung, it's like, okay, like my next five pounds, but we got to know that there's something after that, whether it's another five pounds or it's fitting into a dress or showing up at a wedding, feeling amazing or a family party. It doesn't matter what it is but know what's next and know what the next one is because we're only reaching for that next goal. We can become wobbly on the ladder. When we're reaching for that goal and we're achieving it, but we're already reaching up for the next goal, it helps us to literally stay stuck to the ladder, to stay stuck to our vision and to our goals. So be specific in your vision about the things that you want. Write it in present tense. Know what the heck you have to stop doing. Know what you have to start doing and then set those goals and deadlines for yourself. And then I want you to send it back to me in text message. You can take a screenshot of it and pop it in the text. Those messages come right to me and Mike. You got two from me and Mike today. So <laughs> you never know who's going to be texting you, but it's just us that reads those. And I am so excited to read your vision, to know really what you have to work on and how I can kick your butt and love you and hold you accountable. So super excited for that. Have an outstanding day and I will wait for your vision.